So y'all know this catalog's about to expire. It's not a good thing because we're gonna miss it. Um, we've got great news that if you're friends with me on Facebook, you saw that um, my grand little Wren, her um, pet scan came back and she is doing great. Okay, so y'all, this is what came, oops, this is what came in the mail today, y'all. Y'all, no matter how hard I get ready, and do everything, everything I'm supposed to do, it's all, it's all messed up. Okay, this is the Hat Builders dies, and they're super cute. I wasn't gonna get them. Anyway, I wasn't gonna get these, y'all. Was not, but I did, because I saw some cute cards. This is the um, stamp set, and I mean, if you, if you look on Pinterest for stamping up hats off, it's a great one. And there we go. Isn't that cute as a button? And I put a little a little boop right there. So the only thing is I don't have a dad. I mean I did have a dad, but you know, I'm old. But um I I I'm not gonna use it. So if anybody knows somebody that would love this card, let me know and I'll shoot it your way. Okay? So that's what came in the mail today. And uh let's see, I told you Rin's pet scan. She's uh, still in remission. Thank goodness. And yes, Nyoka, um, it definitely goes with the paper pumpkin batters up um, cards we just had. Thank you, Marilyn. It, it is so much fun. Um, Y'all, we also have a date to close on our house in Savannah, and that's going to be not this Friday, but the next. And I'll tell you a little bit about um, not getting enough sleep, but first... We are going to make Nyoka's dreams come true with this. Y'all, I got to tell you, this is one of the prettiest, cutest, fun cards I have made in a long, long time. And I think because this rickrack looking stuff, it doesn't come that way. You make it, you turn it into that, okay? And um, I I'm just excited. I'm excited to show you all this card. So I want to show you, I'm using the transfer adhesive sheets that I've had forever, but we do sell them. Um, they're right here, item number 13 in the annual catalog. And why do y'all's comments keep going away? There you go. Oh, you like it, Nyoka? Yay! Um, number 13, adhesive sheets. Um, it's the same kind of thing that I'm using tonight. It's just a different package. Okay, I'm going to show y'all some stuff, okay? We've got our Big Shot here, and I know I don't sell Big Shots anymore. I have the stamp and Cut and Emboss Machine, but y'all, I'm not buying another one. Okay, so all I'm going to do is take the zigzag one that um, Nyoka was asking if I could do something with the Rick Rack die cut, and that's what this is. So it could be, it can be a lot of things, y'all. It can be a mountain range. It can be anything, but I'm going to show you how to make it rick rack. Okay, and I've cut a lot of the pieces already. So it might be a short, short video tonight. Okay, so here you go. You see how this, how this cuts, okay? Let me get this guy off. Come on now. All right, so you see how it does? There's a couple of things I want you to know here. So y'all, this right here, to me, it looks like just a bunch of little pennants, you know, like you'd put across the top of a card or something. I'm gonna go ahead and, and remove that so you can really get an idea of what I'm talking about. Um, how, how fun is this? And festive. And if you've got, and Angela, yes, every time I say festive, girl, <laughs> every time. It cracks me up. But if you've got another color, you would just kind of offset them a little bit like, like this maybe. Say, you know, the pink and the green. And, and, and look. But you could use this like on a birthday or a, any kind of celebratory card, something like that. Okay? So I love that. Wait. I, I tossed down the wrong one. Okay, but we don't have Rick Rack yet now, do we? Mm -mm. All right, so let me show you what we're going to do. We are going to place this back down. You guessed it. Yay. And I'm going to put it right there. And I'm going to run it back through again. 
And I am so glad that my friend Nyoka asked me to make this card because, y'all, I had the best time in my little studio. I did. I was like, oh, look, it's Rick Rack. And here we go. Here we go, y'all. We are going to snipperoo it there and there. Look what we've got. Isn't this fabulous? I love it. Okay, so here we go. We got our little rickrack, right? So that's how I made all of it, which I'm going to show you in a few minutes. Well, I'll go ahead and show you now because I'll forget. Here are my three pieces that we're going to use on the card. Okay, you see there's a lot going on here. Guess what there isn't? There's no stamping, y'all. No stamping. This right here, the happy birthday, we're going to make that. We're going to make that now. And I'm going to show y'all how we're going to do that. Okay, I have the, the well-written dies. These were not cheap. There were 24 pieces. There still are 24 pieces. <laughs> And you get a whole lot of words, y'all. But I have to remind myself to use an adhesive sheet to cut these because you don't want to have to be gluing these down, now do you? You really don't. Um, sympathy, family, welcome, wishes, um, thanks, friend, love, bride, baby, and miss you. Okay, and then little, little things you can cut out, including happy and birthday, okay? So when I saw those, I knew I would use them a lot, and I knew that they would not be a hassle because I used these adhesive sheets. This is the old Sizzix adhesive. Maybe I need to buy new. What do y'all think? Y'all think I should? I don't know. Okay, I'm just taking off this piece of paper here. I'm going to put my cardstock on. And I really should have gone all the way to one side, but I didn't, you know. It's okay. It's all right. And I should have been using my Teflon scissors, but I didn't. Oh, y'all. It's hard to be me. I do not recommend anybody trying. Do not try this at home. Well, I mean try all of this at home, but don't try to be like me at home. Whew. Okay, so the other thing that happened, y'all, I have a, I was accepted in, don't be impressed, they'll take anybody, I was accepted into the um, business development group with Stampin' Up, and, um, and, you know, they, they have to have some rules, because you know people, right, and what they, what they said was, if you miss three times, um, you know, three strikes, you're out, right? Now, y'all, I'm going to use this tape, and I'm just going to put it on my sleeve. This is my Stampin' Up! shirt that you can't see because my camera boo-booed on me, and I didn't even think about fixing that before, back when we fixed the, when we actually fixed the um, phone. Okay, so I missed one, y'all, and Boudreaux sends me a text and says um, that I had missed one, and that two more strikes and I'm out. And, I mean, you know, there's something about being my age and being called out. And I'm kind of like, well, I did miss the phone call. I'm supposed to call them. And that's not how we did it before. But that's no excuse. I straight up forgot it. But I won't forget in the future. But if I do, I'm out. So, you know. Okay. So, this is the sticky side now. The sticky is under this pink. And then, when we get it cut out, I'm going to peel that paper off. And this will be this will be our sentiment to put on the card. All right? And I heard that they call the little dot above the eye a tittle. And, y'all, I, I probably heard that years and years and years ago. But I'll tell you what. I heard it twice this week already. And I'm like, really? Are people starting to use that word again to describe? I just call it the dot on top of the eye. Because who's going to even know what that is? So y'all see how it cut it out? It says, happy birthday. 
Um, so my son is in town, but he's in town 45 minutes away in another town. And I, I said, you know what? I got to go live. So Ninja Man went to dinner with the son and the daughter and her husband. And don't tell me this is going to peel up. Hold on. We might have to do this twice. Um, my son and, and daughter and her family and all of them. And I'm like, that's okay. It's all right. It's all right. I had too much to do tonight. Tuesday nights are too busy. I have a prayer group um, on Zoom, and it was important for me to attend. Oh, see? I've, okay. That little, that little dot above the eye right there. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do about him. Um, this is what I did the other day, and it worked just dandy. All right, y'all. So I'm going to poke this little guy out right here, okay? And we're not going to let him go anywhere. I mean, he, he's going to be a pain. He's over here now. All right, this is how he acts every time. Well, I'm going to wrestle him right there. He, he thinks he's... He's something. And I'm going to tape him right there to the J in my John 316. Now, we'll see how he behaves. He's, he's going to be over here thinking about what he's done, y'all, every time I've cut him out. And then I'm just going to punch these out because I can. And I really don't want to store them with this uh, die. Okay? So, get those out of the way. And I think that's our only little dot above the eye that we need. Unless all of a sudden birthday has two eyes. Okay, my dies are back where they belong. And here we go. And y'all, Ninja Man, he's like 45 minutes away. And I keep hearing things in the house. And maybe I hear him when he's here. But, um, you know, I, I keep hearing stuff. And then the dogs, oh, they will come unglued when Ninja Man's not home. All right, y'all. So, now I'm going to get the, this is my little card pieces, all right? I love a dotted Swiss anything, y'all. It reminds me of a dress I had back in the day. So I'm just, and, and I did case this card off of Pinterest, so don't be impressed, okay? But I'm going to, I'm going to use my liquid glue because this is a um, embossed piece. And anytime it's embossed, I just really feel like liquid glue is the way to go. And if I don't see your comment, I'm sorry. I will read them at, after because I, I can't really tell much what's going on. Okay, so that's on there. Now, guess what time it is? It's time for our Rick Rack. I'm so excited. Y'all, this, this has got to be one of the most fun cards I've made in a long time. Okay, so I'm, I'm just going to show y'all what I was talking about with the little banner thing. It's so stinking cute, y'all. Look at this if you wanted to. If you wanted to do that, isn't that cute? I mean, I just want to make a card that does this. So, y'all, I just thought it was just genius that this little one little die does all this. I'm so excited about it. Okay, and then we're going to snip there, and we're going to snip here. Yes, I'm getting a little crazy with it, but that's okay. That's all right, y'all. It's all right. We're going to take this away, put it over there, because, y'all, I'm going to use it one day. And then this, and I don't know what that's doing there. Hold on, hold on. We, we can figure all this out. I'm getting rid of the tiny pieces. Whew, okay. Oh, I already put that down, didn't I? Doggone it, y'all. I shouldn't have glued down my little um, embossed piece, but I did. So here we are, okay? Because I want to trim it just so. And, and I will. I'll trim it just so. Just so, y'all. And definitely use your liquid glue when you're putting something on an embossed piece because... Uh, because it's all raised and bumpy and all that, right? All right? Let's go like that, make it a little easier to cut off. See, we're going to have to cut off. That's why I should have waited, but it's okay. It's all right. It's not rocket science. All right. Boop. Oh. Oh, you see what he did right there. Boop. There. Okay. Okay. And it doesn't take much, y'all. I got enough here for several cards. See? Okay, so we're going to put that there. Now, if if I had not 
glued it down first. It'd be a little bit easier. All right, then we're going to come in with the green. I'm going to put the green. And make sure you're on the correct side. You see how it looks different? You can really see the stitches here. And then back there you can't. How about that? I think I'm just going to put it right on the edge here. See if I can... Um, Mm. Nah, that didn't work too well for me. All right, we'll just scooch it. We're going to scooch it. Mama always said scooch. Oh, why don't I cut it before I glue it? <laughs> Y'all, sometimes, boop. I don't know why I keep getting that little piece like that. Sometimes, y'all, I'm genius, and other times I don't even know how to tie my shoes. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I'm going to cut it before I glue it. Oh my word. So, oh, back to back to my grandchild, y'all. It's been a big week for grandkids here because we had Wren, you know, getting through a PET scan. And y'all, she's six and she does not need any uh no sedation whatsoever for her MRI or her PET scan. And I mean, that's just like in the children's hospital, they are just like cheering that child they are so excited that because you know i mean she has so many of them it's best to stop that as soon as possible and um not you know not let not let her get too much of whatever it is they put in you you know so they were very proud of her and of course we were too and then my six-year-old well ren is six but he actually turned six jack um, y'all, he turned six on the 10th, and my daughter and her family went down to Savannah to, um, celebrate his birthday, but we couldn't go because we'd been there just the week before, and y'all, we are never going to put our dogs in, uh, in a boarding situation, there's a long story about that, um, when it did not go well at all, and our dogs were not treated well, but anyway, we don't we don't use borders and um and our son doesn't want dogs in the house so we if we can't go we can't go if we can't take puppy dogs so we usually go to a hotel nearby but it was just it was too soon after our last visit there so we just we weren't able to go but you know when kids are this age they they are playing so hard my son got one of those blow up things and, um, and again, y'all, I'm not seeing comments just yet, but please do keep commenting and I will, I'll respond. Um, I'll read them all when we're done. Um, yeah, but the, he, he rented one of those big blow up things and the kids played and played and played and my daughter and her family went down there. So, you know, nobody was hurting for our company. That's for sure. So it was all good. It was all good. Okay, y'all. I've already done all the cutting on these things. So we don't have, y'all don't have to wait for me to cut things, okay? Wasn't that just nice? <laughs> Look how pretty these leaves are, y'all. I love these little stitched. These And anything they, they make now that's stitched, I, I kind of think I need it in order to live a normal life. Okay. Whew. All right. So... We're going to make this little guy first, and all he is, it, oh, oh, almost hid my little, my little dot over my eye, y'all. Um, this little guy, all he is is a dot, and this cute little flower, there were three of these, and I'm only seeing two right now. Hold on. This little, this little light of mine, I'm going to make it shine. Hold on, that's not at all what I was going to say. Um, I don't know where he went. We might have to cut a third one. I don't know. I don't see it. Did I toss it? Maybe. Okay. We'll see. We'll see what happens, y'all. Okay, so we're going to take this one. We're going to get our glue dots. Y'all know, I'm telling you, one of the fun things about card making is having all the things that you need in order to make them. Best way to do that is to sign up and get a discount. Okay, got this on there, and the next stop is this guy, and I'm going to 
I'm going to offset him like that, okay? I mean, he's kind of offset, you know. He, he's that guy in the family that just doesn't always do right. Okay, and then, <laughs> not like anybody has him, but like that in their family, right? Then we're going to put this down. Boop. And we're going to set this one down on top. It's getting pretty, y'all. And then we got these cute little ones like this. And I'm starting to use my glue. Hold on. I don't... Nope. Not using it. Not gonna do it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, y'all. Gonna put this right here. So, um, yeah, so we're supposed to close on the house to sell the house in Savannah on um, Friday week. Not, not this coming, but the next Friday. And we are going to take our dogs and we are going to go. And then when we get home, you know what we're going to do? We're going to pack up again and we, we're going to head. I'll see the dogs go crazy. They're going crazy and they're running to the door. So, yeah, make me think something's out there. Dang it. Okay. And, yeah, so what we're planning to do is just get back home and we're, we're going to leave for a little while. And I might be crafting um, from a hotel room. I'm not giving up my channel, but I'm definitely going to go somewhere and do something, y'all. We've been home forever. We've been home forever. Hadn't gone anywhere. I mean, baby girl's in remission now, and everybody's good, and we're just, we're just going to hit the road for a little bit. Come on now. I'm trying to pick this guy up. This is called the Take Your Pick Tool because it's got its name on it. Boop. And it's easy to handle things with this little guy. He's got like a little putty on the end. And then over here, he's got this. Y'all have seen this guy before. And he's got a little pokey tool. And I don't know, maybe something else. But right now, right now, that's all he's got on him. I think I've got something else in here that, that he goes, uh, yes, here it is. Um, you can put this on. And he's a, an embossing tool. That's kind of cool. Okay, so we need a little stone. You know, I just picked up the stone and put it on there. Didn't even tell y'all what it was. These are the 2021 to 23 in color jewels. And we're using the pink. You know, I might use a purple because I can. Right? Okay, here we go, right there. So now these aren't glued down yet, all right? And then this guy, oh, we do have enough of these little guys. Uh-oh, this guy, I gotta flip them over because of his stitches. They look prettier on one side than they do the other. And yes, I could be using my take your pick tool, but my, um, my bum, 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 scary dental tool would get very jealous. I mean, it's, it's been in my arsenal forever. So we can't, we just can't let that happen. Oh dear. Oh, I pulled that up, y'all. Oh, Marilyn, yes. You know, I would love to go to the mountains, but he's got some family that has just moved back to um, uh, Gulf Shores area. And um, we haven't seen them in a long, long time. So I think we're going to head there and... We've got some really nice kids. <laughs> our favorite kids. Um, they're our Savannah kids. It's it's some neighbors that we had, and they needed a mama, and we needed kids, and um, you know, so we all, you know, we all just became one little happy family there for a bit, and um, I still call them my Savannah son and Savannah daughter. And it's, it's a lot easier than having real kids, even though we have those two, right? It's just easier, y'all. Because we, we can go, like, the whole visit and just absolutely have the best time ever. And, you know, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to put this little guy here. A little bit too soon, but I did it. And, okay, we're going to use liquid glue to put these guys down. But first... I know y'all can't wait for me to put that little dot on. I know you can't. All right, first we're going to we're going to see where we want these, okay? I think I'm going to want I like to tuck them in a little bit. Oh, that's cute. I like that. So why don't we just do it on the back of this thing? 
Why don't we do that instead of trying to scooch it? Instead of trying to scooch it? There we go. Oh, y'all, I'm also, I'm doing a craft fair on July the 3rd. And again, on the 10th or whatever day the next Saturday is, I think it's the 10th. And um, I've been getting ready for that, y'all. And I'm just kind of like already somewhat over it. I got a table in the EBR, the emotional baggage room. I've got a table out there that is um, just full of stuff, you know. Getting ready to pack it up and get ready to go. Okay, I think I'm going to put these on with dimensionals because, you know, because I can, right? Like I said, have the right tools for the job. These are Stampin' Dimensionals. And let me tell y'all something really cool. Long time ago, when we used to go to a convention in Salt Lake City with Stampin' Up, loved it, by the way, loved it. Um, that's the only reason I would fly, really. But back in the day, we would make just these, like, we called this card candy, and we'd make a bunch of them, like, just that, and we'd list the colors on it, and then people, we would trade them with one another, and you'd use them on your cards. I mean, how much fun is that? I thought it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Let's see, maybe... Just maybe, I want to do it this way. Yeah, like that. Okay, and then we're going to go with this guy. We're going to put him some leaves on. We'll start with this one. And again, make sure that my little stitches are going the correct way. Oh, I kind of like that. Look, look how it kind of laid over the top. I like that. I wonder if I can do that with the other one. Let's see. Sure can. Look at that. Ha! Ah, who knew? Well, I knew as soon as I did it, but I'm saying who knew. All right, we're going to go like this. I'm going to put a little bit of glue right here. Oh, y'all, and last Tuesday, I think I told you on my live, but last Tuesday, y'all, we started up our card ministry at church again, and I was so excited. We had some uh, folks come that hadn't been before. Um, look at that. Isn't that just pretty as can be? Ain't it so pretty? Okay, we're almost done with the card, y'all. Almost. Stick with me. Stick with me here. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to put, oh, we're going to put that on there. Oh, dear. Oh, everything's sticking to me. It's at this point in the card making that everything gets sticky. And it, it's all right. It's okay. We can survive it. It's not that bad. Okay, we're just going to put that like that. Okay. Yay. See how pretty we're getting. I know. I know. Okay. Now we're going to do the happy. And then we'll do the birthday. So you see, I've got the cardstock. And behind the cardstock is sticky. And here is some paper that we're just going to peel off. And it's not going to be hard. Because we're, we're pulling a, away from cardstock. Not that slick paper. So we want to put the happy like this and the birthday and I'm not forgetting him. He's right there. Happy birthday. Here we go. Oh, and did I tell y'all I went to a new doctor today and um, I think I fired my old doctor. And when I say old y'all, I'm, I'm not even playing. The dude is 10 days older than dirt, but that's okay. Happy birthday. And then we take this little troublemaker, and we're going to put just, just a wee, a wee bit of glue on him right there. Okay, just a wee. And we're going to lay him on there. He's been over there thinking about what he's done. I'm going to stick him down, and he might. There we go. Oh. Okay, so y'all, they're a little different, but that's okay. They're so cute. I see I used the same flower twice instead of one bigger one and one little one. Y'all, I got carried away, and I used a darker green, but I thought I used granny apple green. That's granny apple green. 
pretty sure. Huh. I don't know. Anyway, there those are my little cards, y'all. And I hope um I hope you liked it. I hope you learned a little something. Hope y'all remember that this catalog right here is retiring. And anybody on my team is gonna get to see the new catalog. Um I think it's next week. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'd have to look. And clearly my phone is busy, you know, recording. Thank you, Nyoka. Is this what you were what you were kinda kinda picturing? Thank you, Marilyn. Yes, the toodle, the toodle, the tittle is on. Hey, oh, hey, Barbara. Gulf Shores is close to you, Nyoka. We're going to have to talk. We're going to have to talk. Also got a brush. Let's see. Wouldn't think, oh, yeah, I will not put a dog in a kennel. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Yeah, okay, and um, thank you, Carol. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Angela. Okay, everybody, That those are my cards, and... um. I know it's a little short tonight, but you know, I'm a little short on um on cameras, so I guess that's why it's a shorter video. But y'all be sure and come in um on Thursday at one o'clock. And yes, Naoki, you've got to have the dies now because I mean I haven't even begun to play with the other ones. Who who knows what they can do, right? I mean, I'm seeing clouds, I'm seeing mountains, all this stuff. Um but yeah, so be sure and come around um, Thursday at 1. Actually, I'm going to have to change the time. i got to change the time. Probably going to be like 3 o'clock because I have uh, a meeting I have to do at 1 o'clock. Um, but I'll let y'all know. Watch my page and I'll let you know when I go live on Thursday for the Dollar Tree Crafting. It's going to be a very fun project. All right? All right. Thanks, guys. Take care and God bless. Toodles.